Everybody, so I just wanted to say um, I'm sorry for lack of uploads um, lately. I've been working and work has been kicking my ass. Uh, I get up around 10, 1030. Um, I walk to work around 11 o'clock and it takes about 20, 30 minutes to walk up there. And then by the time I start at noon, um, I work till sometimes 5, sometimes 4, sometimes 7. And it just depends on, you know, what I'm doing that day. It just, you know, like I said, it all depends. Hold on just a moment. Okay. Sorry about that. I wanted to get some extra light in here. Okay, now, we have two videos to go through today uh, before I do my stream, if I'm able to stream. Let's see. We have one that's called A Message, and uh, it's 11 minutes. Probably going to skip a lot of it, so just so you guys know, I do skip his videos now, because he's mostly just repeating the same bullshit over and over again. So Again, uh, someone wrote me. I like talking to you guys directly, uh, so long as you're being civil and reasonable. <clears throat> Since when did you like start talking to people respectively? You've never done that. No one's ever wanted to do that with you, okay? Unless you're talking about your little Discord people, so... Skip! Sorry, I believe you now. I have been a victim and thought something was amiss with you. What changed my mind was... Oh, he's pretend. He's this video is basically him talking about how he's the victim now, and I did "How shall not stand" or something stupid and political, and then she wrote me and said, "I am requesting a removal of this video, trying to cover up." Sarah is literally trying to cover up that video because it was so damning. No, it wasn't damning. She's requesting a removal because it's victimizing people and re-victimizing them over and over and over again because you're such a fucking moron. That everything you fucking do is a piece of shit. God, I'm glad you're done. Jesus Christ. I know, I know, I've got about like 12 more of these, 10 more videos you know, like this. Anyway, that's it. Um, this one is just basically him trying to re-victimize everybody and claiming that he's the victim and blah, 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 which we know Onion Cuck is not a victim. We all know that. He's the perpetrator. He's the one who's the one that's at fault. And we're going to skip this one. Okay, so this one is called The Past. He's wearing his Nirvana shirts. We're back in we're, we're in the Nirvana shirts now. We are in the Nirvana shirt era. All right, let's go. What's up? First off, apology for my skin. It's just who I am. I don't have the best. Dude, you just put on makeup. We know your skin is worse than that. Best skin in the world. Uh, someone was asking what my skincare routine was, obviously sarcastically, uh, as an implication. So, sorry. Um, someone wrote me and said, I rewatched all those clips of you and Shiloh, and I realized who she reminded me of, my ex. This happens a lot with people. They see someone and they're like, that's just like my ex. Like, I don't know why that happens so much, but it does. They said Do you want to know why that happens to you? Because you're a fucking psycho brat who re-victimizes people victimizes people for years abusing them and a lot of guys i do apologize for all of this and on behalf of the male population 
Um, guys are abusive. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. And it, it needs to stop. We need to stop abusing people. And especially verbally, emotionally, psychologically. Um, you know, there's, a, there's many different kinds of abuse. Greg, you you should know this. You, you're coming from an you're you're you say that your dad um, abused you, right? So you come off as someone who take took that and twisted it to a point where you think it's okay to do it. It's not okay. So shut the fuck up. Ex faked mental illness to control them. I remember wanting to leave him, and nobody faked a mental illness here. The only one who's faking a mental illness is probably Greg. Money, uh, I'm, a, I'm happy to date a person who's a single mom or whatever, but if that single mom dated me and got pregnant while dating me and then the new guy who impregnated her dumped her and now she's single, there's a whole different world to that. Anyway. That's not, that made no sense. Context? I mean, okay, so you say... The, you still got that woman pregnant. So it's not like she did. It's like you dated her. Doesn't matter. And then like he dated. She did. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you so fucking stupid? God, I want to slap you in the face. Jesus Christ, Greggy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, thank God we're done. It's two more bullshit videos where he's talking about people who've talked to him. It's called A Message and the Past. He just, like I said, he's bringing up bullshit from people who he talks to civilly. And he's bringing up the fact that he is, uh, God, he's a wannabe fucking Joker and it fucking pisses me off. Okay, the Joker, yes, while the Joker does make a lot of sense, he's not someone you want to idolize and be like. Okay. He's not somebody who you want to. He's abusive to his uh, to Harley Quinn. He's manipulative. He's controlling. He's egomaniacal. It sounds a lot like Greg, actually. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, I'm gonna go through more. Uh, probably gonna do stream gaming later. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, and there's a lot of Twitter drama going on, so I'm gonna try to get through some of that too. Uh, sometime. <clears throat> during the week there's a lot of twitter drama i gotta talk about it so let's get going and let's have some fun and try to get some gaming going today i have been getting my ass kicked at work getting stuff taken care of i just had my last paycheck uh they basically screwed me on hours so i'm trying to fight that hopefully they can fix it and put it onto my next check which is coming not this week but next week so that is a lot. Sorry I'm talking so much. I am rambling and I need to stop this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.